Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the training center to talk about the Mascot LX for combustion setup. Anytime you are servicing, repairing, or replacing a component in a piece of equipment, please remember you must shut off gas and electric prior to making that repair. Uh, for starters, we're going to set up our combustion analyzer uh, and we're going to get that set up in the flue. Okay, we've set up our combustion analyzer. I've removed the test plug from the vent and installed the probe inside the vent so we can do our combustion testing. Prior to turning on the heat, um, you, if you're using outdoor reset, you may want to go into the parameters and elevate those outdoor resets. That way the boiler doesn't shut off prematurely. So if you have, go back into the programming, readjust your outdoor reset. All of this information, by the way, even the combustion setup, is in the I&O manuals and startup guides. The next thing we want to do is give the boiler a call for heat. We're in pre-purge. Our flame signal is blinking. That means that we're actually in pre-purge. And the boiler will go into ignition. Once we light, <clears throat> we'll start to modulate up. So right now, I've got a set point of about 140 degrees. So we have all five flame patterns uh, on telling me we're locked into, or we're going into high fire. But what we want to do is lock this boiler into high fire. To lock it into high fire, press the select and up arrow at the same time. And do not let them go. And you will see the percentage appear on the screen. Now that's locked into high fire. Um, to get to low fire, simply press the select. And that'll drop to 20% and you'll see your flame pattern drop down to 20%. Those little flames are in 20% increments. You can also increase or decrease by 20% increments, very simply. In this case, I pressed the up arrow, went to 40, I'll press it again. It'll go to 60, 80, or 100. So I want to test this in high fire first. So I'm going to force the boiler to 100%, which is high fire. And now I'm going to start my analyzer by pressing, my, by pressing run, and we're going to watch our CO2 range. The CO2 range for this boiler, and this is a natural gas boiler, is 8.9 to 9.9 percent .9 CO2. Propane is 9.9 to 10.9. So again, we're working with natural gas, which will be 8.9 to 9.9 percent .9 CO2. Okay, with our boiler locked into high fire, uh, make sure you're patient with your analyzers. Some analyzers can take 90 seconds or longer uh, to, start to uh, start to adjust. So right here you can see our CO2 range is right around 9%. And our range for natural gas, again, was 8.9 to 9.9. Uh, we're locked into high fire. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is go in and drop it into low fire and see where our low fire range is. So very simply, I'm going to press the select button once. That'll drop it down to 20%. The boiler will take a couple seconds to modulate down to low fire. And be patient with your analyzer. So being locked into low fire and being patient, you can see we're running at 9.3%, which is still within our range. Uh, we'd like to see the CO2 is pretty close together, give or take two-tenths. Um, this is really not a big adjustment needed here. However, I will show you, if you need to make adjustments, where those are made. Very first, we're going to take off the front cover. That pulls forward and lifts out of position. All adjustments are made right here under this rubber grommet. So very simply, remove the rubber grommet and you'll make your high and low fire adjustment. When you're done, you put the rubber grommet back on. To show you exactly where those adjustments are, uh, I'm going to take off the upper cover so you can see better. So I've loosened the two Phillips head screws, pull forward, lift straight up. There are two tabs, one on the top of each side that lock into position. We're showing here an early production uh, of the Mascot LX, which is here in the training center. Right here in the center of the valve is your low fire adjustment. That is a number four millimeter Allen key. Your high fire adjustment is right up here in the top left corner. That's a number 2.5 millimeter Allen key. To reduce CO2 on high fire is clockwise rotation. To reduce CO2 on low fire, fire is counterclockwise rotation. 
So again, all adjustments are made right through here under the rubber grommet. Um, the reason is this is a negative cabinet, uh, and what's going to happen is you're going to pull combustion air into the front. So that's why we have to have that cover door on in tight when you're making adjustments. If you're having trouble from the rubber grommet or you can't see, remove the cover, make an adjustment, put it back on, and tighten the panel back down. Uh, if you don't, your CO2s will not be within range. Okay, so what I've done for an example is we're in low fire at 20%, and I put the CO2 slightly out of adjustment. Uh, we're still within range of 9.4, but our high fire was right around 9.1. So I'm going to go in and make a slight adjustment just so you can see how it's done. And so again, remove the rubber grommet, um, find my center point. In this case, to reduce low fire CO2 is counterclockwise adjustment. So I'm going to make a slight adjustment. I'm going to remove the Allen key and put the rubber grommet back on. And it's important that that's in position or excess air will be drawn right in here where the Venturi is. Okay, so that's the example of combustion setup. It's always good practice to go back in and double check high fire. Again, very easily. You can either use the up arrow or hit the select button, and that'll go right back to high fire. So double check your settings a couple of times. Make sure they're within range of one or two tenths. Um, and once you're done, you want to get out of combustion setup, very simply take that select button, hold it. It'll take us out of setup mode and you're back to normal operation. I'm going to put my cover back onto position with the tree locks. Lock that back into position and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, please refer to the manual startup guides or you can contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.